Heinrich, I want you to now take us through what we're going to experience when we're using the app. Um, I suppose this would be the landing page. Perfect. So this is where you come. Um, this is our sample student called Michael. We wouldn't want to open anyone's real profile. But this sample would show you that the learner or child is greeted by name. First thing, um, it might not be that significant, but um, the fact that it's already personalized from the first step, um, we find quite key and, and quite rewarding for learners themselves. Mm -hmm. Then you will see that there's a points allocation. We'll see how many reward points they've achieved for the month, as well as how many they have achieved lifetime. Built into the system is, if you get to a optimal number of points for the month, um, that's seven and a half thousand points, which sounds a lot, but it's very doable. Um, we give you a reward of airtime. So again, built into that ah, autonomy very is clever. that the more work they put in, the more reward they get on their own, which parents could then also use as an incentive to, for, to get some motivation at home. And you are speaking the language of children, airtime. Indeed, airtime. Absolutely. A critical commodity. <laughs> so we would then continue into Michael's profile. And the first screen that you would see is all the worksheets that have been assigned to him. So bear in mind, these to the, to the child feel like, oh cool, new challenges, new, a new level to complete, but these are actually specifically assigned to him based on his needs. So we've detected that Michael's perhaps battling with addition. We can then send the correct worksheet um, significantly as well as that. Sometimes your problem might exist. You might be in grade five, but your problem started in grade three maybe. We can then assign or through the tutor can assign the correct worksheet without the learner really knowing that I'm, I'm two grades below on that skill. Mm. So at the end of the day, we're looking at all of these skills as sort of blocks in a quilt, and we just want to ensure that all these are as competent and as strong as possible. So coming into the, the question specifically, what we'll see is that the entire workspace is looks similar to what they would on paper. Mm -hmm. So the technology is called digital paper, which tracks everything that they write. So this is where I'm getting deeper into where the magic exists. I mean, how do we really know? This is how we know because of the app tracking what the child actually writes while they're doing the question. So just to show you as an example, for instance, the child does 269 plus 591. So again, this is one way of doing it. We don't focus on one specific method. There's always more than one mm -hmm. way to do it, to skin a cat, so to speak. So we would carry over zero. That should be 15 plus the one, which would give us 16. Carry over the one, that would be eight. So our answer, so what you see is the child actually writes on screen like you would. At the end of the day, the exam at the end of the year is going to be pen and paper. So we're practicing skills here that they need to apply mm. at the end of the year in the exams. I mean, until we get to the time where everything's on computer, um, we still need these skills. And there are many computer systems out there, but uh, the differentiating factor here is that those pen and paper skills are refined. So the next step would be for me to enter my answer, and this is where I get the feedback, which tells me correct or incorrect. Well done. Well done. <laughs> so that is the, the level of, so you'll see that the question moves on to various formats being a sample. So the next, the next question will pop up on the screen once you've submitted it. Once you've it. submitted that right. previous question. Um, significantly as was, if the child gets the question incorrect twice, that question disappears. Because oftentimes, I don't know if you recall, is that you get to question six, you get stuck on question six, and you never get to seven, eight, nine, or 10. Now, question six disappears and you move on. That is the teacher or tutor's duty to make sure that we analyze, okay, that's where a problem is, let's focus on that, and that's how we move forth. So the child's never really stuck and never really punished. Mm. It's more of a rewards-based. And you, hear, you heard the, the, the noise that went off when we actually got the question correct, meaning there that the child gets that level of feedback, the, the audio, as well as the point system, which is, is points and rewards which are building up. All right, so if we move back then to the home screen, we see that the worksheets that need to be done are at the top, but yes. underneath that we've got submitted worksheets. Correct. So presumably the, the little equation that we just sent off will then appear under submitted. Under submitted. Once we've finished all 10 questions, for instance, in that set, the, that will appear in our submitted worksheets. Um, our sample kit hasn't got any feedback, but in the bottom row would be the tutor's feedback. 
So that would be the same worksheet that the learner has done with his or her answers with the teacher's corrections over that, um, as well as the ability for the teacher then to communicate with them via either audio messages, so similar to a voice note, or um, a text message. So there's this multi-levels of, of feedback that we're constantly looking for to keep it game-like.